Hi, welcome to GameStop. We here at GameStop believe in good games and a good time. To the moon! Power to the players. Power to the players. Power to the players. Um, hey everyone, I thought I'd give that intro because the first comment I saw uh, in this chat was someone saying that they are working at GameStop and they put this up on their screens. They told their boss they were gonna do that. So, uh, we are live from GameStop. Uh, and you know cool. what? They also wanted us to tell you that you give them a raise or they walk. Yeah. You know what? They're sick of your crap and they're done. We don't need you anymore. Come on, person that commented that. We're out of here. That's right. Give them a raise. Give them the sh- They quit. Give them, give them the stop. Give them the whole stop. Well, that's the least, vi that's the least valuable part. Yeah, you want the, the game is the best part. Yeah. That's the, mo that's the most valuable. Um, Shane, would you call yourself a gamer? No. Mm. Uh, but today I am gaming. Uh, guys, I'm. Uh, this is my personal game of Tears of the Kingdom. Mm -hmm. uh, doing pretty well. Uh, I am not going to beat the game yet because there's a bunch of stuff I want to do before I do that. Particularly, I, I am a big fan of trying to collect all the armor sets, mm -hmm. and there's a bunch that I'm missing. Um, so I was hoping you guys would help me find them. Uh, so as you can see, I have a shit ton of them, though. Wow. Uh, um, so there's a few things I'm missing. I'm missing the headpiece and the legs of the climbing set. I'm missing the um, I'm missing a bunch of the frostbite armor, which oh the Elsa. Y yeah, I'd love to find the full set of this. Yeah. I'm also missing the headpiece of the Ember set. Oh, that's embarrassing. That's the best part. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then I'm missing <laughs> what I'm really looking for is the headpiece and the uh, torso of the Zonite uh, armor set, because that's the most useful. I also noticed, if I may, yeah. you don't have the headpiece of the dark armor. Right, which I just have to go buy. That I mean, that seems like a pretty manageable quest. <laughs> I forget which guy has it. Um, do it's, they all collect? The spooky guys collaborate together. All right, you um, know what, we'll start by going to a spooky guy and getting that. So for um, this, for this, for context for this stream, you know, Shane, you've clearly been playing a hell of a lot. It's very impressive. I have also been putting a lot of time into this game, but I have two separate save files, one for just me, and then one that I use when I'm streaming. So I am playing a lot, but I'm like at half of where I should be. Oh, shit. So it's kind of crazy. So I was like, I knew you'd be farther than me, but like looking at how much armor you have, I, frankly, Shane, I'm a little bit intimidated. Uh, as you should be. Uh, no, I, I have played this game so much uh, it's also the only game I play. Uh, sure. I, I mean, I was only playing Breath of the Wild for a while before this. Um, mm. Big fan of these games. Love them. So, uh, it's understandable. Um, yeah. I, I played it so much the first weekend. And then uh, I, I've kind of, I haven't burnt myself out. But I haven't been playing as hardcore this past week. Um, but when I've been playing, I've been just looking to, like, polish up on things that I've missed and uh, whatever. I think that makes sense. And like, it's it's cool, I think, when you get to this point. <gasps> you who stand with the offer pose. <laughs> um, I just wanted to read it. Um, there you go. So I think it's cool when you get to this point because like, the, I think the biggest benefit of this game can also be one of its weak points, which is there's so much to do right off the bat that it can be a little bit intimidating. Yeah. And you can also be, you, it's easy to miss important things because you just, don't know about them yet, and you might just go the direction they don't want you to. So now that you've like, excuse me, I just burp, they just you fleshed out like the whole map. You know exactly what you're doing. Now you can do really targeted stuff. Yeah. Um. So someone said, uh, okay, okay. I keep seeing this. People said, uh, why didn't you tell us you were in a Mr. Beast video? Um, were you? Is this? Is this? What is this? Yeah. So I, I, I touched. I just, I let my hand off the car immediately, and I was so pissed. <laughs> No, uh, I, I was not in a Mr. Beast video. Unless I was, and I was uninformed. It, what if they're doing like one of these like tier list ranking videos, and they're just like, we're ranking guys, and it's like, <laughs> it's just like, what, what about this guy? What's the criteria? It's like, we're just ranking the guys. We're just ranking them. That's what the glow armor helmet looks like? I, that's the one I don't have. Dude, it's so sick. I love, I wear it so. But it's useless. Do you have any? It's a uh, useless armor set. But it looks. Those are Kingdom Hearts pants. It is. So can I show you what I wear to like it just fashion wise? Real yeah, quick? yeah. What do you? What's what's your vibe? So, at least on stream, I, I didn't have this. I had no idea. I had no idea. Um, I 
where where's your Zora armor? So imagine the Zora armor is black. All right, are you ma imagining it? Are you really thinking about it right now? Yeah. Okay, so imagine that's black, and the okay. pants are black, and the hood is black. So look uh, at this, like yeah. all black. Like this is Kingdom Hearts, that Final Fantasy, Super Kingdom Hearts. This I is, get that. You know what? I'll say this on my own personal stream tonight. We're 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 finding that helmet. That's what we're doing. Good luck. We're finding this helmet, and you know what? This one too. Uh, oh, now here, it's Borderlands. Here's here's kind of a vibe that I do for fun. Um, it, I got Goku hair, <gasps> and then uh, Wait, which one's that? Is that the Ember? That's not the Ember. That's the um, Enchanted, the Mystic. Um, and then uh, I don't really know. I don't I don't dress for uh, for fun usually. I'm usually trying to wear whatever's the most. This is kind of the chosen outfit. This is this is a very chosen. Okay. I don't know. Um. I like the. I think the pants are on point. It, is the helmet like? I feel like the helmet. You would either have like the dark helm or like the uh, sinister helm. Uh, maybe because yeah. the Chosen's like I have this darkness within me. But you can't see it because of um, my pants. Uh, but this armor set is just incredible. Yeah. And the the power it gives you is just you lose rupees instead of health, which is stupid. It's just um. It's it's you're being very you're very like privileged. It's like you have so much money you can't be hurt. <laughs> That's no so way. funny. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude. Wait. <laughs> it's good to know. Well, mm, mm, nope. Wow. That really looks like me. <laughs> it looks like your little brother who's like pissed that he's not quite That's as shredded as you. Crazy. That that face his face looks a lot like me when I had that that same haircut. Yeah. Um so by the way, some people I think got confused. Oh my god. Uh I have like this climbing set. I'm talking about the the climbing gear. I don't have the full set of the climbing gear. But um, okay, let's go get this Zonite armor first. Yeah, I don't uh, know. I have not seen any of that yet on either of my it's, save files. And it's, the Zonite armor is so, I've had such a trouble finding it that I'm like, I give up on just coming across it naturally. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have to uh, look it up. Um, so, all right, someone said the sphere. Now I've been to the sphere. That's There's a where couple I've, spheres though. Uh, this is where I think I found um, the first, that's, there's that sphere, where's the other sphere? There's like two or three that I've seen. Um, I can't give you exact locations. I mean, I can be, I can be your Google guy. I can be your let's, GG. Let's see if chat can tell me. Um, so chat, you can see I have, are they all in this sphere? So Kink says Zonite armor is in the Sky Islands. Right, right, I know it's in the sky. But, uh, I, cause I found one of them here in this, this sphere. And I was like, sweet. Maybe there's other spheres. I've visited all the islands that I can see on the map, I think, and I have not on sphere. Okay, is it like? Wait, have you always gone to the like the bottom half of the sphere too? Um, see, there's only. Oh, do I need to move this around? Maybe. And yeah, like... and so okay, so when you move wait, wait, any wait. of these rotato chips around. When you get the sphere to like where the floor is, there's an entire second bottom part that you like jump outside and jump back in. Okay. That's how it is for all the spheres I've found. Okay, so. Uh, I'm not a geometry guy, but. You know. How do I rotate this guy again? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Um, Probably push a thing in the middle. Oh no, I actually haven't seen this one. We're gonna be seeing a lot of stuff I haven't seen today. Nekluda Sky says Avery Eberline or Eberlein. Nekluda Sky. Um, this is the, okay, so Nekluda Sky is over here. So, yeah. so, um, so what sphere over here? Um, the headpiece is in the Sky Island with a bunch of circles. Okay, that's the one then. Bunch of circles, Nekluda Sky. I've been here and I did not find this. Well, we, let's, now, now let's treasure what on together. What the fuck is going, Shane? You're in the wrong sphere. Shane, here's here's my deal. You're one of the <laughs> you're one of the stupidest guys. You're one I've of ever the dumbest mother. <laughs> you're, you're one of the smartest, coolest gamers I've ever met. But sometimes even the most powerful gamers need a little help from their friends. You know what taught me that? Who that taught me that? Who? Kingdom Hearts. Oh, I I, I thought it was uh, that song, the like from the Beatles. No. Yeah. They're overrated. Okay. Um, all right, so let's try to find where, if we were a piece of head, if we were uh, looking to get, uh, get looking no. to get head, no. what? Where would we like troll around here? <laughs> um, Is it like at the top of this place? Yeah, if we're looking to be a top. Helmet on Lightcast Island. 
I guess that's where that's where you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is like Cast uh, Island. Okay. Looking, looking to it. I'm I'm gonna be a little. Full. No, that's not Light Cast Island. Light Cast <sighs> Island. Uh, I don't see the. the fucking. I swear to you. Are they are they named? They're not. Not all. That of them. one is. Oh, I think the ones you haven't been to are the ones you need to go to. But I've I've been to all these. Look at this. Look at all those. Look at the, <laughs> varicose yeah, I was, vein. I was map. literally about to say varicose vein. <laughs> They're like, hey, nothing wrong with it. There's one uh, where you are. Sh okay, Shane, let me let me get this. Or no, I, I'm not gonna back seat. Someone said there. The, there's one where we are. So look at where we are, Shane. If there is a big thing in the middle or that pillar right there, maybe you can like your yeah, way yeah, up that's... into the middle of it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. that's the move. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's oh, the that's, real spice, baby. That's that's pretty cool. That's the spice. Yeah. Yeah, you like when I fly through the floor. <laughs> you see the top, so it's just like a bunch of blood and bones coming yeah. out. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my uh, god! Did not. Okay, wait, I can do this again. Well, now we don't even know. What? Oh, okay. Oh, we need to go back down. Um. <laughs> I, I popped up the other day, and there was just like five barrels. Um. Oh, can I tell a funny story about um, this shirt, by the way, real quick? Did I tell you the story about that? Uh, go ahead. Oh, I, no. <laughs> what? What do I have to do? Super chat. I don't know how to do that. Oh, okay. Ascend from in the forge. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Ascend from inside, like this. this. Yeah, you duck down through the wind. Um. Yeah, like d dive into the wind, believe in it. No, like into the wind, really believe in it. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, did you notice how it like sparkled? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they're saying create lava blocks and get. But I can't get into there. Oh <gasps> yes, you make lava blocks from underneath and then you ascend up into it. So like you give yourself a little walking path. So like find a different area where maybe there's like a little lead in to go underneath the cauldron. Yeah, that's but I don't what I think, think there saying. is. Under the one with the bridge, Shane, the pillar. Uh it's on the little pocket of the pillars on the bottom of the oh, forge. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say right okay, there. Okay, right there. There we go. That's the one. Yeah, yeah now we're now we're doing. So Christopher Johnson, not that I'm trying to advertise for my own stuff here, but I have a story about that shirt, but since you're linking to it, I do have a uh, a code for that. So check my socials. I'm not going to use this as a place for that. That's not appropriate. But just saying, if you were to do that and want to save money, check my socials. Um, but I have a funny story about this shirt that I'll tell if some if someone super chat. Is, is that what we're doing? No, I'm saying you're keeping your shirt. Just remind you guys for yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. got it. Thank you. I thought I was like, well, I'm not gonna tell you a fun story until you give wow. Shane. Wow, it, it was right $10. here all along. <laughs> That's not the one they meant. Ah, oh, fucked. <laughs> guys, I wanted to get the hat. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> all right, thank you guys for helping me. Now it's time to get the hat. Uh, but go on with your story. All right, so this shirt is a, like a Legend of Zelda tribute shirt. There's all sorts of like Zelda E things on there, all the way from Ocarina of Time to Majora's Mask, Skyward Sword, and obviously Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, right? Uh, Shahar, thank you for the 1790. That's my birth year. Um, there we go. I read it. Um, so I went to a very small gathering of um, some voice actor friends the other day. Um, and one of my voice actor friends invited me, and even though I didn't know the host, they were like, yeah, you know, come down, like, the host is really chill, you're gonna enjoy yourself, like, don't even worry about it. And I was like, okay, and you know, I was feeling a little socially awkward, a little bit burnt out from the week, and I was still just like, no, I wanna go, I wanna meet new people, like, I'm, I've been trying to be more social anyway, right? So I had just gotten this shirt, and I'm like, this is kinda cool, and everybody there is like, a gamer, and nerdy, and neurodivergent, and like, this is gonna be sick. And so I wear this shirt, and I show up, and the guy that's hosting is like really nice, and he's like, "Hey, like, how's it going? Welcome on in. You're Damien, right? Yeah, come on down. Like, can I get you anything to drink? Like, you know, I'm like, ah, Lacroix, and he's like, ah, cool, no worries. Like, hey, I'm working on some food. I'll be right back out, but uh, everyone's out back. And I was like, yeah, cool, no worries. Uh, thank you so much for having me. And so I get out back, and my friends turn around. They're like, hey, and then the friend that invited me goes, oh, cool, uh, cool shirt. And I was like, yeah, thank you. I just got it. And they were like, did uh. 
not the host. They were like, did the did the host see it? And I was like, well, yeah. I mean, they they let me in. And they were like, what do they say? And I'm like, nothing. Wait, why? You're being weird. And they were like, oh, they voice um, Prince Sidon in the game. I was like, oh. And they were like, and they directed the first game. And I went, oh. Because it literally looks then like meeting this person, showing up to their house for the first time and being like, like a big neon sign of like, I like Zelda. I'm your biggest fan. Please cast me in things. I like Zelda. And it was just, oh, I wanted to die. But we all just had a good laugh. And I explained it to him. I was like, I didn't know who you were. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, but isn't that isn't that wild? Like, that'd be like me wearing a Goldberg's shirt, and meeting you for the first time, which <laughs> I've I never almost seen, did. I've never seen someone wearing a Goldberg shirt. I don't know where they would sell them. I I make some. Okay. Just uh, just in your garage. Yeah. Um. Uh. <laughs> in my public storage unit. Um. Uh. Let's see. So people are. I've gotten a few different things. North to Banth the Sky Archipelago. Um, That's what I was probably gonna say. Um, let's see. North to Banth the Sky Archipelago. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the one. Uh, Shane, the one with the water. If you like Tears of the Kingdom more. We were just talking about we this were before talking stream about started. It. Um. So wait. Sorry. Real quick, just to figure out where I need to go. North to Banth the Sky. Okay. I'm gonna just. I'll go here. I'll go. I'll go here then. Um, so I've been thinking a lot about about it. I think they're just essentially the same game, except this just added a ton more shit. Like this feels almost like modded Breath of the Wild. It does. Um, yeah. So it's really everything that I loved about Breath of the Wild is in this game, and you can play this game just like Breath of the Wild. You don't have to use any of the Zonite stuff. In fact, I don't because since I played so much Breath of the Wild, I'm very good at my like strategies of combat and mm -hmm. stuff. I don't rely on Zonite stuff that much. It does suck not having Rivali's Gale. That yes, is a does. I still seen, fall into thinking that I could use. Have you it. seen the the uh, trick that someone found to do that? I've seen some stuff where you build the giant pillar. Yeah, vlogs, and they're like, we have Rivali's Gale at home. We're all together. Yeah, home. I think this game is. And like, don't get it twisted. This game is a masterpiece. It's absolutely fantastic. I think where it falls a little bit short is in the pacing of its freedom. Like, for example, they drop you down after the original like tutorial area, and they're like, "Go have fun. You can do whatever." Here's where the story starts, but you can do whatever. And I was like, "Great!" And I spent hours just doing whatever I wanted. Like, someone talked about like a pirate village, and I was like, "I'm going there." And I made my way there, and I did all these things. And it wasn't until after I started doing the actual story stuff that they're like, oh, here's how you start the missions in order to be able to um, upgrade your armor. Here's how you get auto build. If you were to cosplay as a Zelda character, regardless of gender, who would you dress up as? Ooh, I'll think about that in a second. That's a great question, Nuka Chloe, thank you. Um, so I was just like, damn, like they give you absolute freedom, but you shouldn't have it yet. Because I'm like, you've still gated a bunch of powers that are really important to the gameplay behind some things that, like, you don't do a great job at showing. And so, like, to, the, to that end, even when I was, like, streaming it and I got auto-build on stream, people were like, I am 50 hours in and I had no idea auto-build yeah. was a thing. And it's like, yeah, that, that shouldn't happen. Right. But otherwise, it's damn near perfect. Um... It's so easy to miss shit. I will say mm -hmm. what Breath of the Wild has going for it is you really can just go and beat it. Like, immediately. <laughs> can, and yeah. it's really funny that that's the case. This one does not feel that way. If And I don't think it is. I think there, there are, like, unlock things um, yeah. and stuff. Uh, which I don't know how I feel about it. Um, there's, like, a shrine here, and I don't know how to get to I it. I think it's inside. What if there's What if there's something oh, on, on either side? Oh, that's what it, yeah, it's that yeah, there you go. There so I, I don't know if I'm in the right place to get the Zonite armor, but now that I've found this shrine, I might as well, uh, might as well do this. Um, use, use the light, my friend. Oh, oh. I'm so bad at, I'm so bad at remembering to, to use mirrors when I can, when I can. I wouldn't call you bad at any aspect of this. Like, you're... Oh, that was a, oh my God, that was a biome. It's California now. Yeah, I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I love how they're like, these are the ancient Arowana, not seen since ancient times. You're like, mm, bye. Like, Have you seen the jokes where it's like, I found this ancient scroll here. 
it says to press ZL when yeah. you find this. That's a very, that's a solid trope. Um, to answer, uh, I believe it was Nuka Chloe's uh, question about cosplay, I think I would either want to do, if it's from like current times, I think I would want to do like a Prince Sidon cosplay. Or, I know Link is an easy answer, but like look at all the outfits he has now. Like, I think the fierce deity armor could be really cool. Um, you know. Yeah. Otherwise, I would really have to dig back and think. No, I would be a life size version of the Minish Cap and just devour people. Funny. Um, <laughs> thank you. Funny. How do you, what would you go for? Um,. Shit, I don't know. That's a good ass question. Ass um, question. Uh, it's a good ass question. Uh, hold on one second. I think it's this. Eleanor. There we go. There we go. What is what is what's going on here? Um, you're giving the light back to God. Yeah, take this light. Okay. God. Okay, so I think. Um. Uh, I don't. I don't know, man. Um. No, you're you're working. Also, if you want, if you're like in the middle of something and you want me to tell stories and stuff like that, or like narrate around you, I can definitely do that. I just wanted to open up the floor so that you could answer. Oh, I totally just remember. I, I've thought about this. I would be the Yiga Clan swordsman. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Tingle's a good one too. I like I like the idea of Tingle. I like the idea of Tingle. I think Tingle has been maybe a little overdone at this point. Probably. But I think you specifically at, at, as Tingle, because Tingle is such like a little guy and you are shredded to bits, <laughs> watching you in a Tingle outfit would be like both funny and impressive. Like you being um, Thor the Explorer. It's right. the same vibe of like, oh, ha, 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 but also, wow, you know. Sure. Think a little to the right, maybe? There's a little to the right. A little, a little, to, the little right. to the right, because there's a little, yeah, there's a little. Oh, wow, there. there he is. Wow, there it is, wow. Wow, wow. wow. DreamWork makes the teamwork. Who is Tingle, asks Ray. So Tingle is another character in Legend of Zelda who appeared in Majora's Mask for the first time. Um, they're a, uh, a cartographer. Their favorite thing is to float up in a balloon and look at the world around them, and they will write little things on your map and show you where uh, you need to go. Um, and his dream is to be a fairy. Like, he loves the Kokiri, and he's like, I really want to be a fairy just like them. I'm, I'm a child of the forest just like them. And it's like... You do your thing, yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. And so he's just a sweet little guy. I can't believe you just spoiled all of Majora's Mask for me. And then it turns out the moon is uh, the devil. Um, my dream cosplay would be a horror-style Majora's Mask that corrupted Link's body like a Resident Evil parasite. That's pretty rad. It kind of reminds me of like the uh, second form of Majora's Mask boss fight. Bro, I'm a cartographer, cartographer says Kiwi. Wow, that's not a sentence I've heard often. I I, I didn't think that there were cartog cartographers anywhere because we've we've mapped it all out. Well, you didn't think about the ocean, though. <laughs> I, thought we've, I thought we've mapped it all out. Yeah, a while we, did, ago. we did it. No, they just discovered a new um, <laughs> nah, England. Man, I'm the new I'm the new Magellan. Don't worry, <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing it. Uh, I saw I saw a tweet the England. other day that was like, uh, ninety percent of the ocean is unexplored by you guys. I've seen most of it. <laughs> I was like, that's there's that's really there's funny. also that it reminds me of this TikTok where this guy's like at the Grand Canyon, he's some some canyon, and he lifts up a rock and he's like, no one will ever see this rock ever again. And he throws it into this deep canyon, and then it cuts to a guy. He's like, all right, I'm fucking on it, man. <laughs> that's like, funny. I'm gonna fucking find that rock, dude. That's so. I'm gonna I ruin this that. for you. Uh, uh, Shame that, that is there. The hat is there. You have to go back for it. That would make sense that it's all in that darkness. Man, yeah. they really hid these fuckers. Wow. Do you plan to 100% the game? Probably not. I, I'm i trying to did think Did you 100% Breath of the Wild? I, th I thought you did, right? Um, I never found all of the... The Korok seeds are the one thing that I was like, oh, I'm, hell no. I'm not doing Aren't that. Aren't there like a thousand? Uh, there's eight or nine hundred in Breath of the Wild. And in this one, there's like a, an even... A stupider amount. It's like nineteen hundred. I or don't something. believe in. The, I don't want to. I don't want that in my life. <laughs> um, when you hit that light beam and everything turned on properly, I did notice there were a few like uh, overhangs like that that appeared. So maybe it's around one of those. Like maybe turn behind you just to make sure. Like turn, no, but like behind you just to make sure. Um, oh, I guess not. Uh, like look down a little. Uh, bit. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah above that. There oh, we go. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. How did I miss this? This guy. I'm just real smart. I said that the other day in a group setting as a joke, and people did not hear it as a joke, and I was like, oh. Guys, wow, we did that quick. Yeah, right? Well, I mean, 
My friends are my power, as Sora says from Kingdom Heart. I um, got it, and I'm cold. Yeah. Uh, my nips could cut glass. See, I'm glad I had you guys to help me because I've clearly been to all these places and just completely overlooked all of this. Mm. Um, I think a big an issue I do have with the game is that with the Sky Islands in particular, you'll visit a Sky Island but be like, oh, I'm going to come back here later. But then you forget yes. that you've done that. So I'm like, oh, I visited these. It's like, oh, but which places did I visit and skip over? Yeah. And I, I it does screw me. Um, uh, I want a Tears of the Kingdom mod that gives you the game Borderlands cell shading. Oh, that'd be cool. That's um, I mean, that's you just described Wind Waker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, someone said I should cosplay as Josh Hutcherson. Oh, I just did it. <laughs> Thank you. I know he booked every single job I auditioned for. <laughs> That's me with uh, Henry Cavill. <laughs> I'm like, damn, like, again, Henry. God, this sucks. Ah, Dude. like, at least I'm better at Warhammer. He what? Like, <laughs> oh, my God, so funny. Um, all right, I would love to find the other two pieces of the climbing gear, the climbing pants and the climbing headpiece. I don't piece. think Link is happy with that idea. No, he's pretty pissed. Um, uh, I'll, I'll travel back to... Uh... Wait, do you want to Do you want to be fa fashionable? Do you want to go dye your Zona eye armor? Oh yeah, I can go dye it. Let's I'm, be hot and sexy. I'll, I'll dye this. Um, uh, Damien, did you play uh, Tingle's freshly picked, uh, freshly picked Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land? I did not. I played a lot of games with Tingle in it. Never one with Tingle as the focus. Um, I have played the majority of Zelda games that exist, but that one just, that one just missed me. Um, but you know, yeah. What can I say? Um, okay, uh, let's, yeah, let's go, I'm down to go dye this. I mean, I, a lot of them, I, uh, <laughs> I do like their original dye, but, uh, let me check this one out. What? What's the little ring thing this there? This one's kind of cool. Oh, uh, this is his original, this is his Breath of the Wild hair. Legend of Zegend hair? Oh, no way, that's so cool. Yeah, um, it's, it's a pretty cool find. I found it organically in the game, and I was pretty stoked. I found it pretty early, too. The thing is, like, I keep finding, so I, I found, like, two pieces of, I've been finding most things organically, and I found, like, two pieces of the miner set organically, but eventually you get to the point where you're like, I, I think I just want to look up where the home it is. Because if, like, if you find two things organically really quickly, and then you don't find it organically after that, you're like, screw it! I, I, I end up Googling things like that. Uh, there's some stuff that I do not look up, like, uh, all of the temples, I'm like, I'm gonna beat this on my mm. own. I unless I get absolutely stuck, and it's it's stuck has to be stuck on something stupid where it's like I think I'm literally looking in the wrong place, and yeah. uh, it has to be where I'm like, okay, this isn't even fun anymore. But if I'm aware of the puzzle that I need to solve and it's in front of me, I will never Google it. Um, so I was talking about specifically that with this relating to older Zelda games, right? Because when you think about something like from when we were kids, like Ocarina of Time, um, like there would be things where someone's like, man, I've always wanted to try this one type of water. And then you think to yourself, oh, I actually think I saw that one type of water at the beginning of the game and nothing points you to it, nothing tells you what to do, but if you just have the idea as a creative individual, like I think I'm gonna capture this in a bottle of water and see what happens when I bring it to him. And then usually when you do, there's like a huge benefit to it. So that's a really cool thing. But in this day and age, you don't have the luxury to do that as much because there are a thousand Korok seeds and there's yeah. all these things to explore. So if there's that many little ideas to plant, you don't have time to be that creative. So they have to hold your hand a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And that's why it sucks when you can't find something organically because <laughs> you have to like be given this path and then you're like, uh, uh, uh. Right. Yeah. Let's see what these look like. Oh, so Ooh. it just it just dies that part. Yo, of it. but the yellow though, go back a little bit. Yellow's not bad. Yellow's not bad. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Black is cool. Black is always it always it's is always sick. my go-to. Um, uh, that's the navy blue. Uh, ooh, turquoise. Kinda, that's pretty. I mean, sick. if you're down to give up some luminous stones, um, hey, there's probably other things that that do it. Nope. That's pretty sick. Pink is baddie. Pink is pretty sick. Uh, I like I like that. It's kind of similar to the original. Um. I always kind of dig the sage color, mm. uh, and then um, uh, gray. Let's see. Uh, I, I also, I, I will say, I don't know why they're like, come check out the one place you can dye your armor. It's in a dark room with a sickly old man, and you're like, yeah. can I see this in the light, please? They're like, absolutely not. No, you may not. Uh, Let me see what the original looks like. Okay. 
Yeah. I mean, it's up to you. I would personally say pink or the light blue. Let's see. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty sick. Yeah. yeah it can Wait, you just used choo choo jelly on that? <sighs> Have you been wasting luminous stones? On no. Me? You've been wasting luminous. I didn't. Stones I really. I haven't. D Shane, I haven't. Okay. Don't say that. Don't tell. Start telling people that. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. Pretty sick. Pretty freaking sick. I also have you been to Hatino Village yet? Oh, of course. So, so have you figured out how to get uh, this? Oh yeah. Do you have this hat? No. But I can help you. There's a quest to it. Um, I will say also just so everyone has context for where I'm at in my personal save file. I am three temples in with a lot of exploration. On my stream save file, we've finished two temples with a fair amount of exploration. So a lot of these things I just haven't done yet. Had no town had no talisman's quests were my favorite, says Ash Cass. Hmm. Um Latino Town, yeah. So I've done the quest where I give mushrooms to people. But I Oh, you sided with Cece. Is there an actual question for Chad? Are you able to side? Because they were like, is it Cece or this guy? And I was like, I don't really like Cece seems I, rude. I don't like, I think I tried to choose the other guy and, and she didn't kind of let me. It just makes you do but the Cece thing. I say like I want the Cece hat and she's like someone meeting my personal approval that I could pass it on to. I I, I this could be our next thing. If someone uh if someone could tell me what I need to do next yeah. to get that freaking hat. OMG, the quest line for that hat is so involved, lol, says Caitlin Palmer. Mm, do you really want to do something involved? Because mm, I did the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Did the mushroom part. You, you have, have to do, to the, do mayor the mayor quest, quest too. Oh. Where, how do I start the mayor? How do I start the mayor quest? I also wish to know this. Uh, can I also ask, how do I start the mayor quest? Do, but just only tell me how to start it on mine. Please let us both know, uh, me first, uh, where, hey, Tasty Lettuce, thank you for... Uh, Talking about uh, the minor art from uh, Knights of the Old Republic. I didn't, I didn't, did you play KOTOR? No. I also never played KOTOR. I'm sorry, but the reference is lost on us. Talk to the sister. Oh, the one about CC's secret life. I did that. I, and where I, where you, you find her in the silo. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I did this where I talked to her and, um, so talk I did to that. her wife. Giovanni, I think that's her. It, Sophie's the sister. Are you talking about Sophie, or does Cece also have a wife? Talk to the mayor's wife. Got it. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where's my wife? Someone tell me where to go. Where do I talk to Reed? Where is Reed? And Reed's secret and Team Cece or Team Reed. I talked to the sister out front of her shop. Maybe Reed's in the pasture. It is nighttime. Pastures up north. Talk to Reed's wife. Talk to Reed's wife. It's up near the inn. Uh, thank you, y'all. Batman, Sophie's not. <laughs> That's the story of Robin. And everybody else. And everybody else. That's the secret origin of Robin. And uh, else. Reed, uh, the mayor, mayor's house. I actually don't know what house is the mayor's house. I think um, it's the one with the, I think it's just the flat earth with the goats. Oh, that's the pasture. She walks by the um, stairs during the day or in their house. It's okay. not the inn, right? Wait, go back. I thought that was a, that looked like a wiener statue in the shadow, and I'm sorry, but it looked like a fertility oh, wiener statue. Oh, it does. It it's looks, right that's there. A, that, <laughs> right I'm there. sorry. That's a, <laughs> <laughs> like that's just I'm a like dick. that's that's just a wiener oh statue right God. there. Do you uh do you like my artwork? Yeah. Oh. Cece's been uh, spreading the town with mushrooms, and like it turns out, like, hey man, I need to t I need to sit you down for a minute. Like Everyone's... I don't think those are mushrooms. Oh, there's. Th oh my god. I was literally. I was literally here. I uh, don't want you to worry about me. I've, I might not be able to pull one off in time for the mayoral election, so I'm focusing on the second plan to bring back a taste no one's tried here in years. Way back. Well, did you see my statue out front? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got a taste for you. <laughs> like, I have to go. It was too ahead of its time to catch on some. And they are called the gooey mouthfeel of one. Oh, it's the cheese. I've got I've got the Hatino cheese. So I can't remember. And now I think about it, it had a unique pungent scent. Yeah, that's the aroma. Have some Wait. cheese. Yeah. I've I've guys, I think I've done all these quests. I just didn't have this one. Can you imagine someone sending you on a quest, an epic journey, if you will, for the amulet? And then you just go, oh, this amulet? 
when they're done throwing up, they would give you <laughs> such a reward you have no idea. That would be really funny if it's just like, oh, you mean this one? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I got it. Yeah, I've got like a hundred of these. <laughs> I found them for like no reason. I keep tripping over all my individual, all my individual stacks of amulets keep falling over. That's how tall they are. I like how he said, I'm going to start supplying all the merchants and everything with cheese. Meanwhile, the game has already been supplying everything with cheese yeah. for a while. Um, also, like, they very much established, like, this is hard to get. I haven't smelled this at all. And you're like, here you go. He's like, I am now the connect for this. I am the plug for cheese <laughs> in the world. I'm the cheese plug. The cheese. Uh, uh, okay, so now that I've done that, I've done Reed's secret. <sighs> Nick Vlahakis is asking about the effort involved in the Damien Plays Dark Souls with Meat video. Um, so that's called a Makey Makey. Uh, that's the controller that we use where you can basically set up your own inputs, including anything that completes an electrical current, such as touching meat, touching water, things like that, as long as you were also used as a grounding space for that. Um, oh, you use an arrow. Wow. What are you talking about? Well, I just throw, the I just throw it at it. Yeah. I guess arrows are free now. Um, <laughs> but, um, so anyway, um, that was something that, like, definitely had the idea for, but, like, there, uh, I don't remember if it was Tim at that time or Spencer or a combination of both, maybe even Mark Robb, um, that, like, went through the trouble of specifically mapping things. The effort in terms of playing it, um, wasn't much because I'm a pro leap gamer, um, but, you know. Talked to his wife. Talk to his wife. To find his secret. Uh, I, I made it day so it might be easier to find his wife, but then I realized that might have been a mistake. You gotta um, check the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dark. Um, it's almost time. Okay. Wait. Oh, sh oh, oh it's shit. election day. I already did it. Oh my god, but you had to find the secret. No, I. Okay. Oh, crap. Now, with further ado, let's have each of our candidates for mayor say a few words. Uh, hi, uh, hi, I'm Reed. Boo! <laughs> I, I believe that the heart of our village is its pastoral culture. Uh, we built a close-knit, self-sufficient lifestyle here in Hotno, and I don't want to see us lose that. My plan is to strengthen our community with new local specialties, starting with our brand new Hotno cheese! Like, just cricket chirping. <laughs> <laughs> wow, listen to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I am the world-renowned Stacy. No. <laughs> yeah, do it. Do it. I love this. Hyrule's premier fashion designer. But you knew that, of course. Together we can turn this backwater village into Hyrule's go-to destination for all things stylish. Vegetables don't make the world go round. It's glamour that rakes in the cash. And you it. all look like shit right now. Imagine like if it. you looked good. And nobody knows glamour like me, darlings. <laughs> They're like, oh, she says fancy words. Her head is a different shape than everyone in the game. <laughs> what, if yeah. just, what if you were just like, bah! They're like, oh my like, god! He's like, oh! And just devours her. And he's like, you listen to me! Everybody! <laughs> like, oh my god! Hey, fa hey, fashion comes and goes. Your style's trendy now, but it'll be over soon. And then where will you be? <laughs> She's just like, Nonsense! It's trends that shape the world, not the other way around. <laughs> that's that's enough! <laughs> oh my God, her teeth were uh, she doing was, her own thing. She's uh, I loved her in Splice. <laughs> <laughs> you before that point, you're like, that's Speaking of okay. Splice, let's both let's both voice her. Three, two, one. You can't fool me, Susie. You love simple, plain things forever, including the vegetables of that new village. I know for a fact that you hide in the silo at night to snack on vegetables. No, I'm not. I'm jacking off. More? <laughs> <laughs> Wherever did you get such a curious notion? <laughs> and you, Reed, your secret's out. Or your secret's out too. Oh no, that's is that some other guy this out is, there? That's his wife. Uh, and you, Reed, your secret's out too. I know why you've been secretly studying Cece's designs in the shed. You think there's so something there you can use to get the youth to care about vegetable farming? Who went and told you that? We'll talk about this in the Prius. <laughs> Cece, I can't deny any of it. Look at her face. She's like, mm. Mm. 
<laughs> She's like, I fucking hate you. I, so I much. whatever you're about to say, I fucking hate it. It should have made me happy that you came in and livened up the village. It was just, God, you're such an asshole. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, Reed. It is I who should be ashamed. My childish pride would not allow me to admit the truth. <sighs> the trends and style I made my name on. I built on the foundation of traditional culture that our forebears worked on, worked for. I think it's deeply funny that she's like, I wanted to hearken back to a time long past to the things that our ancestors worked on, such as this wooden mushroom. Is we fly by and there's like Zonite machine, like <laughs> she's like, I wanted to hearken back to the stuff, you know, how that's been the apocalypse for the past 100 years. <laughs> right. There's been no culture for 100 yeah. years. God, she really. No, I'm not gonna go there. Um, Sophie, I hereby withdraw my candidacy. I'm gonna go fuck off. <laughs> and I hope I you're all vegetable. happy. Off is what I call vegetables in the silo. <laughs> I'd be a fool to pretend you're not the reason our village is flourishing. I don't want to deny you your due. Did I hear you say you're working on new vegetables to attract the youth of today? That sounds like a CC worthy endeavor. <laughs> There's nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with asking, asking if you, you can't help. help you know. yeah. <laughs> People have had no. We've come to a decision. CC will be put to death. <laughs> We're gonna <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> We're gonna kill her. <laughs> kill her. <laughs> kill her. Uh, get her. The best way to keep Hadno Village vibrant is to work together to combine traditional culture with new ideas. Yeah, yeah, well, woo! Finally, we are allowed to fuck <laughs> vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Young man. He's like. <laughs> It's not a Because that's what the youth are into, vegetables. Well, Ray, don't forget. You're so screwed. Your vegetables are awful. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, when they're like, this is the iron skin pumpkin or whatever, I'm like, who's that for? Okay. It's a pumpkin that's hard to grow, but always a good time with the best friends. Oh, thank you, Freddy Rodriguez. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've been on uh, 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 streams. So. so wait, can I go get this hat now? Uh, no, you have to uh, th now woo her. Now you have, now you have to go f fight fifty Lynels. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> do you think it's one voice actor that they got to do every person that talks like? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, yes. I, th I thought you were just answering me. I was like, do you think it's one voice actor? You're like, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> the voice actors for the fairies must have had just a weird time. Just like, yeah. oh. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think they asked, the voice actor was in there and after a while and they're just like, okay, we're ready to roll. It's like, or oh, we've been rolling this whole time. It's like, oh, shit. I didn't think we were rolling. Even yet. when I was, um absolutely going ham on those vegetables <laughs> yeah this is awesome wait go go back in the uh into the thing and then turn to the right there's an extra little room to the right that looks open now which i did oh. not have access to now turn left now what do we have oh okay never mind sorry if you look through that window before the room is open there's a bunch yeah. of armor that was not accessible so i wonder if they've put it out oh yeah, yeah 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 oh no oh but i i have yeah, no. That's stupid. Well, yeah. This is stupid. <laughs> now, sweet, now we're playing Persona 5. Oh, Persona's so good. I wonder if that hat is, like, triggering to the sister who clearly has a rough time with her sister, and you wear it now, and you're like, look at you, like an ant. And she's like, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> I wonder if I can, I probably can't dye this, right? This is probably a special item. Well, to CC special, I'm assuming... Yeah. You know what? I was talking about this the other day. I'm curious as to why some of the armors don't allow you to dye them. Because I'd understand if it was like, no, this is something from the past. Like, it's special to get... Oh, talk to Cece with the Hylian hood. I do know about that. Wear the Hylian hood and then talk to her. Um, yeah, I can't. Yeah, you can't. Well, you already could have done that. So that's an example. The Fierce Deity armor. It's like, we know what that is. Fine, like, I get it. You can't dye it. It's its own thing. But with, the, like, stuff from Ocarina of Time... You could always dye that stuff. Like, not dye, but like they had a blue version of that armor and a red version of that armor for different dungeons. So I'm like, well, why can't you dye those at least? I think I have, because one thing I tried to do to uh, get 
the that hat was I wore this outfit and I dyed it the like Hillian colors. Um, oh. And it didn't work, uh, which was way too complicated to do. Dashing hood, it might be better to show your face here. If you like, I give you an outfit that personal sees you. Sure, I'll remove it. I'll give you that personal sees you. Sees you she goes in for a kiss, and you're like, whoa. Sure. Take off that hood. She's like, I didn't, um, I thought that, I thought you meant more of the CC touch. So now you can see oh, your head. Oh, cool. Pretty cool, right? I bet you won't find them in other shots. I'll see that. Show me. Yeah, show me. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Oh, so I can rebuy. Wait, I wonder if you can buy the climbing armor now. No. Or is it just rebuying? It's just rebuying. I wonder why that is, because you can't get But I of love armor. having uh I love having this down. That's yeah. super sick. It's pretty cool. Item. Oh, and it's it's pulled down and I have the uh I can wear the I think I think it just auto puts it auto it, on. it auto does the hairband. See, I do wish they let you have that shaggy hair, because I like your shaggy hair in this game. You just can't really see it. Yeah, I know. Dang. Well, this is cool. I think it is. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. What to do next? Um, okay, now we can go get this climbing armor. Yeah, and now we can save some Koroks. Now we can do it. Is there a headpiece to the um, gloom armor, or is it the midnight? There is. There is a, there is a headpiece. I just haven't bought it yet. Interesting. Interesting. Um, interesting. It's hidden in caves. Okay, so you just got to find a cave. Yeah, so does anyone know the boots or the... Uh, with the fur or the uh, that boots that. the house down. Uh, climbing bandana is west of Lulu Lake in Zora's domain. Sounds made up, but let's go. Okay, uh, west of Lulu Lake, Zora's domain. Um, let's see. So Lulu Lake, uh, all the way to the right there, and yeah. stop. So west of that. So uh, okay, yeah, probably so I'll go there. over here and then. Yeah, it's just west of Lulu Lake. Lulu Lake. Okay. Um, I did do the Yiga quest line. Um, mm -hmm. It was super fun. Yeah, I agree. What quest line should I do next? Should I do the Yiga quest line or should I do this CC's quest line? What would you recommend? What's most fun? The CC quest line is just talking to people. In, uh, I, now, I've always said Hatino Village, but you say Hatno. Um, I, I actually don't know. Um, it's, an, it's an ENO, right? Eno, yeah. Hatino? It could be Hatino. I don't know. I've just always said Hatino, uh, but I, don't, I never know. You know what? Can we get a poll in chat? Ask them how they pronounce it, but spell them both the same way. H-A-T-E-N-O. And just spell it the same way both times. Ask them how they say it. Ooh, that just spawned in and like rumbled. Where? That little like brick below you, there's like little cubes. One just spawned in and like landed there. Funny. Hateno, I think Hateno works. Hateno, yeah. Unhatenable. <gasps> Wait, yeah, go down. Go, dude. This is like. Go down. Yeah. Oh, that's not a chest. That's just the ground. Sorry. Where does this? These don't can't even go anywhere. I know, but I saw it spawn in. It was weird. I know they they can reverse, but. <gasps> there you go. I don't think they're gonna go much anywhere. What's your favorite use of reverse oh, that you found shit. so far? Um. I haven't really used it to. Uh, Creatively yet, to be mm. honest. Um, okay, so west of Lulu Lake. Yeah. So, so you're, I mean, so you're west. But there's just like a large region where it could be west of Lulu Lake. See, I have these two uh, pristine sanctum. Right, but maybe Climbing there's. Climbing isn't in here. Yeah, you went too far west. Okay. Okay, so it's it's directly west of Lulu Lake. Is it in here? Oh. Guys, is it in is it in here? I'm gonna go ahead and say no. You can try, but no. Because I haven't found this place. Mm, it's probably not this it. This is new. It's probably not it. But I'm gonna explore it really quick. Oh, Alright, the winner is uh whichever option that is, H A T E N O with seventy three percent. There we go. I'm the winner. That's wild. Okay. Well, you know, well played, well played. You want a new plan? Yeah. Um, just ask which one. And then what do you want the options to be? Say this or that. <laughs> what, what do you want? Oh, get a gloom katana for the chosen outfit set? That's fun. Ooh, that makes sense. Except that those drain your health, which suck. Yeah, but like, 
They're cool. Yeah. We do a lot of cool things that drain our health. You and I both smoke cigarettes That's a true. lot. <laughs> all the time. Like, all the time. We both fucking love cigarettes. Yeah. God, it's so cool. Um, that Get that chest, because that's the thing you want. Axel Rose! <laughs> Give us some reggae! <laughs> yeah! Okay. Uh, wait, is there a, is there a, um... Are you just at a point of wealth in this game where, like, mining stones does not matter to you? And I'm honestly asking, like... I... Only if I see the like golden one, because amber and opal is like, it's fine, but it, it t deteriorates your weapons more. So so. Looks like you need some amiibos in your life, my guy. I know. It looks like you need. I have all the amiibos at home. I just never use them. Uh, okay. A gloom weapon to the end of something, and then it won't hurt you. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, it won't? Because I've been attaching my gloom weapons to my gloom weapons, and now I'm feeling dumb about that. Is there a uh... me for mini or W for Wombo? Oh, That's yeah, a good yeah, idea. Yeah, That's yeah, a good... Yeah, yeah. You don't even need luminous stones. God, you're the richest man I know. <gasps> a bu okay, <laughs> do you ca call this a bubble frog or a bubble frog? Bubble, bubble frog. Yeah, I figured like bubbles. Right, I thought bubbles too, but it's also a bullfrog. Like, uh, so is, is it a bubble frog? A bubble frog. A bubble frog. Shenanigans. Thank you for the money. <laughs> You can hit them physically? Yeah. I hope that at like the very end of the game, every one of those that you hit physically just comes by and devours you, and it makes you watch the whole thing. Just like, hey man. Yeah. Um, ooh, the, so the Amiibos can get you paraglider graphics, I know that. Yeah. Um, all right. There's only one fabric that's exclusive to Amiibos. They didn't lock anything out in uh, this version of the game, which is nice, because the Amiibos are so difficult to come by due to low manufacturing and the high prices from scalpers that like that was Nintendo's like, hey, we realized we screwed up, like mea culpa. Um, okay, so I just need the pants. Yeah, just need those pants. Give me those pants. Yeah, give me your pants. Oh, everyone chose that, wow. Nice. That's weird. You guys are weird for picking that. I can't believe you guys picked that. No, I like this, but that makes sense. Yeah, uh, north of Rallis Pond. Near the Skyview Tower. Where's Rallis Pond? Uh, it's near the Skyview Tower. Okay, where's the Skyview Tower? Oh my god. Like, which Skyview I Tower? I think it's that Skyview Tower. But... Rallis Pond, yeah. Oh, 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 Appreciate y'all. The climbing capris. Climbing capris. Cli climbing capris. Climbing capris. How do you like the game? Hate it. <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Hate it. It's awful. It really sucks. It's really awful. Hey, it's I painful. Really, I'm just not a fan. It's painful to play it. Oh, I actually had something really uh, positive. I mean, a lot of positive things to say, but like something to positive to say about the way they present some of the story in this game. So obviously, I'm not going to give any spoilers for anyone in chat who uh, has not gotten at least this far in the story yet. I'm gonna be vague about it, but for those of you that are not in the know and are just watching us and you know haven't played the game, you are solving sort of a mystery of something that's happened in this kingdom, and you do so by finding these things called Dragon's Tears. Um, they unlock memories of some things that happened in the past. And something that's very difficult to do in an open world like this is make it make sense. Uh, Jenny Vivi, I'm glad that this has brightened your week, thank you. Um, make it make sense in terms of how you are sharing the story, right? So these memories you can unlock in any order, and they all have different levels of like severity. Some of them are extremely like serious, and others are like really light and relaxing. And I came to the realization that they really made it that it doesn't matter what order you do them in. Because if you see something really serious, it'll still affect you, but then if you un uncover a scene after that that's one of the more chill, relaxed scenes, that came before that technically in time, you realize like it's it's harder to watch that. You're like, oh, my heart hurts because this is sadder now because now I know what we've lost. Now I know what we were fighting for. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, is it this? Oh, have you seen um the guy that made the uh, bug zapper for that? He made like a beam based bug zapper that just like got rid of dozens at a time. It was like, wow, that works too. Yeah, I gotta sure. get those eyes. 
Dude, I... It's weird because when I walk around with a satchel full of eyes... People are pissed. People are pissed. Um, yeah, I asked you, have you fought a Gleok? Mm -hmm. I fought one the other day, um, like right before I went to bed. It was like 1 a.m. and I was about to beat it, but I was using a lot of resources to do it and ran out of um, the resource resources I was using to do it. So I was like, I can continue on and exhaust all these other resources. I'm actually gonna come back later when I have more of blank. Interesting. Yeah, the order yeah. matters when you get to the later ones, but copper, I would argue, I would argue that it doesn't. Because even if things are intense, like, if you skip a moment, you'll be like, oh my god, how did we get there? And then when you see the thing before that, you're like, whoa, like... Did you say you did them all? I did all the Dragon's Tears, yes. Got it, got it, got it. So, that was a big thing for me the other day, because I, I did want to make sure I at least avoided spoilers for myself by that time. And obviously, I've been getting a lot of TikToks, people have been having conversations, like, it's just how it goes. I'm going to see parts of this that I haven't planned for, because I am doing it on two different save files, so I'm going kind of slow, but like... Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, I don't really care too much about spoilers in this game because, like, having played enough Zeldas, like, I haven't beat the game, but having played enough Zeldas, I'm like, I get an idea of what's probably gonna happen. <laughs> like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's... I think for me, it's less about story stuff because, like, major story things, like, I, I like, sure. there's a big reveal, and I'm like, oh, I guess that. Um, it's more about like, it's so rare that we, as not only like adults who have been gaming our whole lives, but like you know, just people who are very busy and don't have a lot of time to play games like this, it's rare that we get surprised. Like, we know what's coming. We know what is available to us. Like, we can guess all these different things. So to see a game like this and let it surprise you with things like, oh my god, he hums a little tune when he cooks. Mm. Oh, I recognize that tune from a different game. Like, that's special. Um, wait, so I went to the wrong cave, I think? It's a little further south, the one you need to go to. Okay. But they're also saying that you can set your sensor to the uh, bubble frog, so it'll tell you where a cave is. Oh, interesting. Is oh, wait. I don't think thought. I've taken... Wait, I've taken photos of them. Uh, hold on. That's a, that's a smart move. Smart move. Kyle 10 Zeldum says, Have you used Ultra Hand to put a platform in the air and then recall and then ascend into it? So that's a good idea, and I haven't done that yet. But what I do often do is, like, if you want to use a glider from an air um, island and you like just put a fan on the back of it, unless there's that special track to get it going, you can't get that off of the platform. So what I do is I'll put the fan on it, I'll hold it out with Ultra Hand for just like a minute, then I'll bring it back to me, hit rewind or like recall, and then hit the fan and then break recall halfway through. So it gets you off of the thing up in the air and then you just start flying. So that's um, smart. I uh, do not have photos of bubble frogs. Someone said you were in the wrong section. What section do I need? You to were be? in uh, fauna. I, I was. I was in monsters. I looked through all of it and didn't see it. I think they want you to look at animals instead of monsters. Or no, yeah, they want you to look at animals instead okay. of monsters. Okay. Oh, it is listed under animals. Strange. Yeah, I mean they don't attack you. Like you aren't the good guy do. in this they, situation They shoot at those all. bubbles at you. Mm. Oh, there so is do a bubble. Squirtles. There is a bubble frog in there. It's a Blorpo. Look out, it's a Blorpus. Oh, there he is. Wait. Oh, Colleen, thank you so much. That's very, very sweet of you. I'm glad that we can entertain you, and I appreciate that. Oh, hell yeah. Thank yeah, you, you know, we're having a good time. <laughs> Where is this bubble frog? Um, check for a breakable wall in the ceiling. This is an area that you did, this is the one you didn't explore I, yet, right? I, oh, was, I was just doing this one, but oh, okay. I see. Now I see. Uh, he's like, oh, wait, 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 <laughs> like, oh, I can do that. I needed um glowing cave fish the other day on stream, and I just like couldn't find them to upgrade something. So I decided to farm off stream so I'd be prepared. And I looked up the one location where they're like, this is the most glowing cave fish possible. And I was like, great, now I know the location. But then in that listing, it also said, hey, if you want to get them all at once and don't have to chase them, you can just throw uh, an electric fruit or an electric yeah. chew jelly in the water. And I felt so bad throwing that in the water and watching like 10 fish just go like blah, 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 and I was like oh no I have a uh, ooh so so I'm I'm close 
there's something in here. <laughs> He's in there like, oh my god, he knows I'm in here. Um, uh, wonder where this cave entrance is. Um, so I have a uh, ship, like a boat that uh, electrocutes fish and then you what? Did you them. find a schematic for that, or did you like? I did find a schematic for it, but I, it's also easy to make. Okay. Um, here I can show you really quick. Um, did you see the person that made a boat out of boats? No. On TikTok, they attached. There's one island here where like yeah. fishing boats wash up. Fishing trawler. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I I, mean, I've, I found those those boats. Those so someone sick. connected them like tip to tip to make like a wheel of four, and oh then they used God. a stabilizer and one of those like rotating motors you get from the dungeon. Um, to make a, a ship, and it just like it just wheels its way through the water. That's and it's absurd, incredible. I have not made anything insane yet. Uh, I do have a like hover bike that. God dang it! Uh, I do have a hover bike that has cannons attached to it on each side that can do quite a bit of damage, but. Yeah. Um, I think that's wild. I that is actually I think my one. My one actual critique of this game, gameplay-wise, and again, I think this is like a 9.9 .9 out of 10. It's exquisite. We're not going to get another game like this for so long. Like, I'm so grateful to have this. I don't want it to seem like I'm just being like... Yeah, but you just you just hate it. No, 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 shit. No, no, no. Um, you can just cut that. I need to... Use your damn boomerang, kiddo. Oh, yeah. Um... Um... Which one was the boomerang? I had a boomerang and I attached something to it. There, there we go. go. There we go. Um, sorry, I just called you kiddo. That's fucking weird. Um, <laughs> so, what was I saying? Oh yeah, all the like building stuff is really interesting to me when it comes to like fusing weapons. That's exciting. And then when it started off the game being like, hey, you know, here's a wood plank and a and one other material. You figure out how to get to the other side. I liked that because. The way I did it was like, you know, what I would friends would watch me either on stream or just like we talk about it and they'd be like, "Oh, like you did it this way, I did it that way." And I'm like, "That's fascinating. We're solving the same problem in different ways. I love that." But pretty quickly that runs out and then you don't have to build anything like ever again other than like this platform to get to this next area. So when people build these amazing contraptions, it's really cool it's just for and fun. fun, but it almost feels like a side quest like mini game. Because, like, there are even some boss fights where, like, okay, I'm going to start out by making myself this crazy, crazy tank thing to, like, and have it off to the side. And when the boss fight starts, they make sure that that tank thing goes away so you can't, like, cheese it. And I'm like, well, then what's, what's the point of it's, all that? Um, like, to me, it's really a uh, post-game thing. Like, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm sense. excited once I beat the game to then start uh, building a bunch of stuff. But um, for now... Mm -hmm. In my regular play, it's not something I commonly use. I don't think it's useful in combat. Uh, yeah. the, all the combat stuff does not do anything, uh, which is kind of sad. Like, the damage output is really weak. Um, yeah. But it's great for transport. Um, but once you build the hover bike, you kind of don't need anything else. The hover bike is the most useful thing. That's true. Out of all of it, which is a little weird that something that is so simple just outmaneuvers and outperforms everything. But I think they also like faced, to their credit, with almost an impossible task here because there is so much variety to the gameplay and like where you can come from to get to different places. Like my thought would be like, oh, there needs to be like a section where it's like impossible to cross and you figure out how to get across it, whether you want to build a tank or, you know, try to skate across it or, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But now I'm like, well, no, they have sky islands and you can ascend from the depths. Like, how do you restrict things from people? Like, it's this wonderful mechanic that just, hopefully DLC has ways that you like need to sure. implement. I mean, I will say the shrines are super fun in this one. I do one. enjoy the shrines a lot, uh, yes. And they, I'm more excited to replay the shrines in this one than I was in um, Breath of the Wild, where I was kind of like, all right, mm -hmm. cool. Um, wow, this place is... This Gorgeous, place is look at that thing. Yeah. I wow. think you can probably drain it then, can't you? Probably can somewhere. Probably drain it. Someone asks, uh, what's your favorite way to help the backpack Koroks? Asks, uh, classic Korean, or classy Korean, maybe. I'm not sure which. In preparation for this stream, I tried to make a catapult, and I it was harder than I'd realized. Like mm. to do the one where you like attach a bunch of logs together and then um, use like a stabilizer. You mean? Just yeah, like, just it a, did like not. Yeah. It did not work like I thought it would. Um, okay, so 
Uh, I forget. How, how do you... Um, I, mean, I usually just keep stuff up like that for a minute and then hit recall oh, it when it goes back. Oh, it just... It, it likes being there. This one just stays. My favorite way to do the Korok thing um, that I saw on TikTok, and I've only gotten to work... I can't always get it to work for me. Um, you... If it's not too, too, too far, you ready up an arrow, you attach a piece of meat to it, and then you fire that meat from the ending point to the Korok that you need to transport. Then you attach the Korok to the top of that meat and then hit recall on the meat. It just goes like, and just brings it back. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the smartest way to do it. I'm pretty smart. Um, where do I, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, yes, there it is. I oh, yeah, I, love of it there. I remember from my youth the days I killed a booby frog. A booby frog. So I found the booby frog, but I have not found the armor. God, if I had a nickel. Wait, is there another booby frog? Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah, dog. Don't even get it twisted. There's multiple in this place? Lots of boobies, lots of frogs. I've never seen multiple booby frogs in one cave. Well, you haven't been paying attention. Do you think maybe the the um, treasure chest is in that drained area somewhere? In here? Maybe it's been revealed now? I could see that happening. I found a chest, a wooden one. Look for a metal one. Um, go right of the room? Oh, that's yeah, or like up there. Like there's clearly an up, up there area. Or maybe not. But I don't know. I don't know. Oh wait, maybe 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 I'll check up. Here. Well, no, I, I came from up here. This was revealed in the beginning. Okay. It was revealed to me by Shane in the very beginning. Let me put uh, let me put this this bad boy on just to make this easier. Not that up to end of room and right says Shania Kana. Like up here, there was maybe no, not that side room. Like the end. Oh, oh yeah, go up. But I came from up there. Oh. Then go to the other end of the room and go right. Are you sure you came from there? I, I think we came from up here. Um, huh. I could have sworn. Yeah, we. I, I'm pretty sure we did. It's under the stairs in the corner. Watching you kiss her stairs. Under the stairs in the corner. Wait. That stairs in the corner. Not under these stairs. I think there might be other stairs in a different corner. Probably. There they are. Stairs in the corner to the right. Oh. Um. Mm. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Was it good for me? Was it good for you? <laughs> <laughs> was that freaking awesome? So there's still another bubble frog somewhere. Or it's is a it... different cave, someone was saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's like kind of glitching out. Yeah. Well, I just think they're so close together. You know, lots of caves. Yeah, lots of caves around here. You know how it is. Whole cave si system here. Um, Sweet. So, oh my god. No, 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 Damien, no. Oh my god, I'll have someone help. <laughs> um, shit. No. What should I do now? Um, oh, I'll tell you what. Go into your menu. Here, let me see. My turn. Okay. Right. Uh, no, just kidding. Uh, I want to see what you... Um, how'd you get that? I found that early on organically, and I was stoked, because it's super useful. What? What does it even do? It, it, it shakes when there's Koroks around. You, it, like, shakes Link's head? Or your it, like, controller. it starts to, like, go crazy. Oh, Frostbite armor. Yeah. That's what I want to find. Yeah, Elsa I want to find that sweet, sweet, sexy armor. Oh, what color are we going to dye it? I don't know. That's a good point. Um, all right. So let's go find this Frostbite armor. Um, let's go get this. Oh, yeah. That looks... Goku! <laughs> um, nice. So I know it's I know it's up here. Um, so, uh, okay. Uh, See that, Shane? Someone says, dye the mystic headpiece yellow so you can look like a Super Saiyan. Yeah. Sounds pretty cool. It does sound pretty cool. I should definitely do that. Yeah. Next topic. <laughs> did, did they see that I've already done that? Oh, is that what that is? That's I'm wearing the mystic. I uh, like. So the one thing I'll say about uh, this this chat here, the one thing I'll say about y'all, is there's a big latency. There's a big delay. 
Oh, right. He probably I, he probably typed that and then saw this and was like, oh, yeah. God. Like, we were already out of the cave God. and people were like, wow, they're holding that note. And I'm like, okay. So. Um, that's true. I always forget about that. Um, okay. So, uh, frostbite armor. I'm up in the region where it should be. I have the torso. Looking for the other pieces. Yeah, flying high to find gravity. What I hate is that this doesn't um, prevent cold weather damage. Okay, so I was about to say something about this armor too. I mean, I guess you can always eat food for it, but like when you're in this area, obviously this armor looks great, right? Mm -hmm. But this boosts cold weather attack. When are you really going to need to fight anything else in cold weather once you're done with this area? And you're not finding this armor, and you're certainly not upgrading this armor before you're done with the Rito stuff. So I'm just kind of like, uh, yeah, it's an right. interesting like, choice. I also wonder: is the boost that it gives better than Fierce Deity and Barbarian armor? Because that means Fierce Deity and Barbarian armor just give you more damage everywhere, and this is just specifically in cold areas. Or mm -hmm. can you stack attack power on top of cold weather attack? I wonder if their if their set bonuses do something bigger, but I will also say that like, fierce deity is probably the hardest armor to upgrade in terms of resources. So like, if you just need to deal if you just need to deal more damage with the barbarian armor, great, you have that. But fierce deity looks really nice and is also just like pricey as hell. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so. If someone can tell me where to get the frostbite legs. I do have my phone and I can look it up, but I'm not going to. I'm just texting my friends. Let's see. I'm looking for an answer. Uh, oh, it does. do I do elemental damage with it? That's kind of cool. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, my friend's texting. <laughs> that sounds so cool, man. Oh, this is Legs so in the Hebrew Falls right wow, north of it. Wow, 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 wow. Hebrew Falls. Um, All right. Wow, God. It's so funny that they said that. All right. Where's Hebra Falls? You know where that is. Oh, right there. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, shit. You okay. know where that is. Oh, you've never been there. I have not been there, guys. Um, okay, what's the fastest way there? Check up. Oh, smart. Yeah, jump okay, down. Okay, I'll, I'll go here. Yeah, yeah. Have you done Wind Temple? Of course I have. Okay. See, that's again like You've what done a different order than I did. Did you not do Wind Temple first? Uh, I did Wind Temple first, but you did do a different order because there was something I realized earlier that you hadn't done a temple, and I was like, oh, I did that, like, second. You did the Goron second. I did Goron yeah. second. So the, the thing is, like, again, we were talking about the order. I don't love the way they ordered these first four um, temples when they're like, you can do them in any order, but also you're not going to be able to unlock armor upgrades until you go to the Rito area. Like, they very much wink very hard. They're like, you can do whatever, but maybe you got the Rito area. Um... Yeah. And also, like, this is a mild spoiler for people who haven't played the game, but it's, it's so minor. Um, every time you complete one of these main, quote-unquote, four temples at the beginning, they have this cutscene where they talk to you about... <laughs> poor little guy. Uh, they have this cutscene where they talk to you about, like, what's been going on, and they were like... They make it a big deal where they're like, I'll tell you the true story of what happened all those years ago. And then it just shows the person telling it involved in that story being like the demon king is was there and we had to fight him and then that's it and all four of them give you the exact same information I and they know, also have the same weird. verbal reaction where someone's just like uh you know you we get used our secret stones to fight the demon king and they all they all respond with demon king secret stone and i'm like man you didn't have to do that like I would have been fine with like each one having their own perspective on what happened and like this is how it affected our people forever know, and I'm just like yeah uh, there is a lack of depth sometimes but then there's so much elsewhere and I just it was a shame that that's what was led with for sure oh do a full combo with the armor on says hot worry oh maybe there's something else to it maybe do like an extra little ice like okay okay oh that's that Hebron mountain I've heard so much about Hey, question. What? Gray main or Battleborn? <laughs> oh, is this that game where you choose between being Gray main and Battleborn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the guy's like, have you been to the Cloud District? And he's like, what am I saying? Of course you haven't. I say, have you been to the Cloud District? Gray main, Battleborn. Okay, and that's so this exact same voice there. where that dude's like, 
Ooh, 15. Thank you very much. The exact same voice for the guy's like, hey, you Noodle Rifton, looking for some action. And you're like, no, I don't want anything. I just want to hang out. They're like, good. Don't cross us. Maven Blackbriar runs this town. Of course, if you want to talk to the Thieves Guild, I'd check the marketplace. And you're like, I literally said I didn't want to bother I, anyone. Wow, man. Like, okay, thanks for all of the information about this town. Yeah. Riften's cool. Woo! Frost, whoa, the 70s woo! are back, baby. We it's, got the ABBA armor. It's like, they, you know, you had the uh, the Gerudo armor in the first game. And now they they really were like we're gonna give you a lot more of this. Look at this. Again, outfit. I've always I've always said Gerudo. Oh, it it is in fact. Gerudo. Is it Gerudo? I, I think it's Gerudo. I mean, I think who's they, to say? I think they say Gerudo in this. Oh, see that looks nice though. But that is very much like don't go chase. Yeah, you can be Abba. Mo. Now wear that Mystic hat. Yeah, Mystic hat. Or where's the Frostbite hat? Y'all. Why are y'all calling him Kim Possible? Is that all it takes? That's all it takes. Damn. Man. Nope, that's it. You, I, I gotta say, and I don't want to, you know, make you uncomfortable. No. But I will. Shane looks so good. To, look at this Thanks, outfit. Man. Look at Thanks, the unstoppable dude. drip. The Riz, I even have you know. the. I even have the boots. I am it's fully. Great. I am fully Kim Possible. I didn't realize it was Kim Possible until I put it all on. You are freshly out of said, a magazine right now, and I'm not talking Thanks, about the dude. Kohl's catalog. Whoa. I'm talking about like. I'm talking like Sears. Some like GQ. Whoa. Right here, like they did a they did a little expose on Shane Top and what it's like to be a you know a young up and coming writer, and then they're like, this is just you like you know standing there like this, and they're like, wow, you know, and then they list out the like thing where they're like, this is a shirt by Bucci and it's eight hundred dollars. Um, uh, does anybody figure out uh where these this hat is? Um. Yeah, I've uh, my my Instagram feed has become entirely menswear stuff. Um, it's pretty great, and I love it. I I'm a big fan of classic, classic looks. I'm trying to trying to improve my wardrobe in a classic way. Grayson says, "Damn, does that make Damien Shigo or Shago? I always forget how to say your name. Uh, no, because I'm not unreasonably attracted to myself. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I love how like." Shigo ends up on everybody's list, regardless of orientation, where it's just like, my awakening. And it, like, Shigo's always there. Don't care what gender you are. Don't care what you're... I never watched Kim Possible. I didn't either, but I was just like, who's that baddie in the green? Mm. Mm. Uh, oh, and yeah, people pointing out that I wore a suit. A three-piece suit. You Daniel in, Craig'd uh, it. You looked I great. I Daniel Craig'd it. I thought it'd be funny. Like, who memed it? Why not? Why not dress for the occasion? Also, speaking of which... Um, this is just a little bit of advice to everybody out there. Gas up your homies. <laughs> gas up your homies. Hey, if you're, make sure to gas if up your homies. If your friend is, did a little something different with their hair, if they're wearing something nice, you tell them they look great. You make sure they feel good about themselves. How do you feel about yourself right now? Good. I that was good. all me. Yeah, that was Damien. Damien did that. <clears throat> Sorry. Whoa. I ate fish and onions. You good? Yeah, I'm fine. Right. You, you sent it in that direction. Thank you. Um, a bird just fell through the roof. <laughs> I just... <laughs> and just like burnt up acid wise. Uh, west of Hebra Mountain in a lake. Uh, which Hebra Mountain? Uh, so that's the Hebra East Summit. So Hebra Peak is, I believe, Hebra Mountain. So west in a lake. So is it this lake? The Secret Hot Spring? Probably not. Or, I mean, not Lake, lake, lake Kilsey? Um, I don't think many people know. I don't think many people have done this. Uh, let's see, Colleen. Um, thank you for the escape. suggestion um, for the Goldbergs shirts. Thank you for the generous tip here. Wait, have um, I done Lake? No, I've done. Okay, so there's a Lake Kelsey Cave um, that I need to do. North corner of Lake Kelsey. Okay. All right, we know where to go. Cool. Um, cool. Yeah, there's uh you know what's funny speaking of Goldbergs and fashion. Yeah. Um something that since Goldbergs finished I've been thinking about getting is uh Birkenstocks. Cuz I wore... that's a type of like sandal thing, right? It's a right? type of, it's okay. a type of sandal. They also make clogs like okay. they're still sandals but they're just a design that covers your the whole front of your foot. But I thought it'd be funny to finally get uh Birkenstocks since that's what I wore for every episode of Goldbergs. I was wearing Birkenstocks even when it was like Episodes that took place in winter. Like, my character just only wore Birkenstocks. That's kind of sick. Uh, it, it's not my personal style, but I think you could rock them well. Yeah, it might be for certain situations, but uh, it's also just that it's like, man, 
for this job, I wore Birkenstocks so much, mm. and I've never owned a pair in real life. Um, they are meant to like form to your feet. Uh, now I know what those are. And, I've um, heard about those. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of different kinds of styles of them. But uh, oh shit, look at that! A uh, Gliok down there. A Gluck Gluck nine thousand. Gluck Gluck nine thousand. Oh no. Um, um, hey, Deep Sea Warrior. Well, that's. I don't want to do my own thing on this, but someone has specifically called it out. Um, I got the Blue Eyes Neophoric shirt, and I'm in love with it. Hashtag not a sponsor. Thank you, Deep Sea Warrior. That's a. I appreciate you saying that. That's a weird position for me because I'm on a small stream and they are my sponsored partner that I work for, so I want to like validate that, but also not get in trouble at for do, saying something weird on the stream. You're uh, fine, man. What was that? Okay, thank yeah, you. So dude, yeah, um, for those of you that are curious, a lot of the shirts I wear, this one for example, um, is by a brand that I really like. You can check my socials for, I think my most recent Instagram post has the, a link to them and my personal discount code because I'm a brand ambassador. So I'm really glad you like that shirt, Deep Sea Warrior. Thank you so much. Um, I tried to get the Dark Magician one the other day and uh, it at, turned out to be sold out. I will say, quick shout out to them. Um, and I, I mentioned this on my stream the other day too, but um, for those of you that are not often there, um, I'm on a new ADHD medication and it causes a lot of weight loss and like not on purpose. And so like weight loss is fine if you're like exercising and eating right, but like when it's not on purpose, it's like, uh, oops. And so these pants that I love wearing um, are now like very loose on me as are a lot of my favorite shirts. So I hit them up and I was like, hey guys, uh, I've lost a lot of weight and it was by accident and I don't know if I'll gain it back or not. So I don't want to spend a lot of money on like a new wardrobe. Can you hook me up with a couple pairs of pants and a few t-shirts? And they like, without hesitation was like, what do you want? Like, let me know. And so um, shout outs to them and thank you for that because that was really nice. And don't you worry, pretty soon I'll have pants that fit. Isn't that great? Sorry, quick detour, I gotta kill this guy. That's fine. Um, gotta kill that Gluck Gluck. I, I don't like that they stole the design from Hercules, though. They've been making Gliok since the first one. Yeah, but that thing looks like the, the Hydra. Um, also, um, what was I gonna say? It wasn't about Gluck Gluck 9000. Gotta get back here. Uh, it wasn't about Gluck Gluck 9000. Oh well, it was a pretty cool thing that I was gonna say that I forgot. Oh well. Oh, this one's gonna be tough. I think I'm gonna run out of... Oh, this is the thing. Someone in chat uh, questioned, what if the homie does not look good? Well, guess what? If your homie does not look good in that moment, they're still deserving of feeling good about themselves. So find something you can compliment or show them you're thinking about them and say something like, oh my gosh, man, you know what I just realized? They'd be like, what? And you'd be like, you would look flipping incredible if you wore like with this, uh, with like khakis. Like khakis would just be great for you. Like a classic pair of like fitted khakis, that would so be your thing. And they might be like, really? Like, cause maybe if they don't look good, maybe they're feeling a little bit unconfident. So they're not trying. Either way, the point is make your friends feel good. Mm -hmm. Be like, hey man, you should wear something different. What if you were just <laughs> You know, hey, what, what if you, make what you, if a you better wore person? like a different thing? Another thing that would finally make you, I don't know, enough. Um, <laughs> change, you know what would style. really you know what really piece it all together is if you were different yeah as long as you conform to like the things that I find cool I think you could really nail this um, no it's more about Gorgeous. like I think we don't spend enough time just being really kind to each other and like compliments on physical things or just like people's behavior it's usually saved for like relationships you know but your friends should be telling you nice stuff so often that like the first person that comes along is like, hey, you're looking good. You're just like, yeah, I know it. What else? Like, what else you got for me? You know, my friends tell me that all the time. I don't need anybody else. So it's just all I'm saying. Yeah, there you go. I, good, I tell my friends advice. all the time. I'm like, yo, you look incredible in that dress. Or like, oh, you got a haircut. That looks great. You know? Yeah. That's nice. Thanks, man. That's fine. But that's... I do mean it earnestly. I know you do. No, you, you, I never feel like your compliments are ever not genuine. Does it ever make you feel weird that I usually like immediately ask you for something right after? <laughs> Can you help me move? I love that shirt. Oh, dude, that shirt looks incredible. Oh, um, my car is broken yeah. down. How many kidneys you got currently? Uh, so I, I am, look, I am in trouble with the law. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but, uh, but dude, that shirt, 
Sick. Yeah. So sick. Listen, I need a place to lay low for a while, but while I'm laying low, I couldn't help but notice that your socks are just <laughs> on point. <laughs> your socks. Your socks are buck nasty, and I mean that in the nicest way. Do you not carry hammers? I do carry hammers. Do you not carry hammers? You're going to blow yourself clean up. There. A smasher. I haven't seen that one there. There we go. I Wow, we chat. You guys, we did everything. Completed every quest. Five minutes. Look at how hot I'm going to look. Check this out. Oh, we got to diet before we end stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we can end this. Okay, hold on, hold on. Where, where is it? Where is it? Where'd it go? Where's this? There, there it is. Organize it with Y. There you go. Hell yeah. Oh, define gravity just like Elsaba. Look at those. Look at those. Um slides or what what are the, what are those what are those um, uh, they look like uh, toms of may yeah they're um what are those called um loafers got a loafers. nice pair of what, a nice pair of loafers on trust me i've been looking at those you know what i am thinking about getting this is more of a bold this is more what i'm talking about do it. i'm thinking about getting forever. uh i want to get some uh i do want to get some loafers like some black leather loafers why is that a harder thing to pull off they're no, i'm not saying they're harder to pull off it's more of like a like a more classic the Birkenstocks are a little more of a hard turn from the type of fashion that I, that I, or the style that I'm into. I'm talking like classic, like mm. 60s men's style is what I'm really, I really into. I think, though, into. what you've been always really good at that I sometimes struggle with is like, I often wear um, like capsule clothing, right? Where like I have, you know, one pair of pants I really like and like 10 different shirts that can work with it to make different outfits. But you're really good at putting together whole outfits. So if you get mm. Birkenstocks, you're gonna figure out what looks good with that and you're gonna have a few pieced together outfits where you're like, this is my Birkenstock day where I wear this kind of pants and this kind of shirt and this chain. You well, know? It's... Yeah. What I'm trying to do and I think what helps with that is I try, I've been trying to really have like a color palette that I like stick to. Mm. Uh, big fan of earth tones and it's it's all kind of like, uh, I see a lot of it in uh, um classic styles of like like it's like the olive green navy blue khaki do you like, mean do you mean like so earth tones but do you also go for like the gem tones uh jewel tones jewel are tones also are they, yeah. really good I like jewel tones. uh you know with certain outfits oh shit oh it changes the hair that's oh. dude Ooh, whoa. whoa i'm sorry go back to black look at the quick. back link is link's kind of a my hero no not a uh, my uh, chemical romance baddie yeah right there this is that's cool. the gerard way this is this is crazy oh interesting Thanks, some of them, the pants the pants uh it's it stays as a different color uh this is nuts mm. this is some spirited away shit right here yeah princess mononucleosis um. dude <laughs> whoa pink pretty sick that's uh, sick that's cool um that's sick. This is all incredible. This one's actually kind of badass. Gray is kind of cool. I think gray is also an uncommon choice. Yeah. Um, these are all... I mean, this is the coolest one, I think. You look like an ancient warrior. You really do. I mean, ancient is right because of the white hair. This is kind of also how you get that, that shaggy yellow hair and wear it with I feel things. like I would wear that headpiece just to have in... in other things. Um, what do I have that I could use? The like stones. What if I use? I use freaking uh, your Nadra's. All right, so you oh, need a bunch of milk. Yeah, right. I always think it's insane when they're like, "Okay, you can use two flowers or five diamonds." I'm like, <laughs> Why is that even an option? Why would you do that? Yeah, who's well, that for? Well, if you're if you're rich enough, who cares? That's true. This is this is awesome, dude. I look I look sick as hell. You actually do, like that might be my favorite. This is tell me this is not anime right there. I can't because it is. You're using your awesome scythe, your shadow clone jitsu. What is that? A silver Lizalfos horn? Is that how you get that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I want that. Give me that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I want that. I want that. The coolest addition of the game. It is annoying that you do this. Yeah, it's dumb. Um, but I will say to their defense, scythes like that were never actually used in combat. No, no, it's a, it's, I mean. There yeah. is one, it's for there is one lawns. book, like one chivalric book about how to fight with scythes, but some people think that it was a parody even during its time. 
And to adapt to that, they made a war scythe, which basically is a halberd. So that's about it. Yeah. About time to wrap it up. All right, y'all. This has been a hell of a lot of fun. Um, thank you for joining. Um, I'll see some of you on my stream later playing the exact same game and probably following you in your footsteps because now I want this armor. Yeah, dude. You got to um, get it. It's the best. Um, well, thank you guys. And thank you for stopping by GameStop. GameStop. The place where we sell games? Oh, you think they're still working there after you said the first thing you said? No, they are for sure fired. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm sorry to you, but thank you to everyone else uh, for being here. Um, I had a great time. Hey, I had a great time too. And this was a lot of fun. It's been a minute since you and I just got to, even like in our personal lives, just sit down and play some games. I know, man. Hey, so Damien Shane Show's coming back. That's a guaranteed <laughs> promise that they said that we could announce And today. that we're doing right now. Yep, That's thank you so much. Be sure to so tweet cool. the Smosh account about Damien Shane Show coming back. <laughs> You're going to love it. It's okay, work day's about to end. I don't have to deal with it. Yeah, we're out of here. It's a tomorrow here. problem. All right. Bye. Bye.